वट इज पॉलीमोरफिजम एंड वट आर इट्स टाइप्स वेन टू यूज पॉलीमोरफिजम इन रियल एप्लीकेशन दिस इज अगेन एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ओप्स लेट सी द डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट पॉलीमोरफिजम इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ ए वेरिएबल ऑब्जेक्ट और फंक्शन टू टेक मल्टीपल फॉर्म्स नाउ वट इज मल्टीपल फॉर्म्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन इंग्लिश रनिंग वर्ड कैन बी यूज फॉर रनिंग ए रेस एंड रनिंग ए बिजनेस इन बोथ केसेस द मीनिंग इज डिफरेंट बट द नेम रनिंग रनिंग इज सेम राइट दिस इज मल्टीपल फॉर्म्स वेयर सेम नेम थिंग कैन बी यूज फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पजेस मल्टीपल फॉर्म्स कैन बी अचीव्ड इन सी शार्प वाया पॉलीमोरफिजम नाउ लेट्स इ द कोड हेयर यू कैन सी टू फंक्शंस विद सेम नेम एड बट हैविंग मल्टीपल फॉर्म्स मीनिंग बोथ फंक्शंस विद सेम नेम आर डूइंग डिफरेंट थिंग्स वन इज एडिंग टू इंटीजर्स एंड अनदर वन इज एडिंग टू स्ट्रिंग्स राइट हेयर इज द क्लाइंट कोड आई वेरिएबल विल रिसीव एन इंटीजर वैल्यू एंड एस टी आर वेरिएबल विल रिसीव ए स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू दिस इज वन टाइप ऑफ पॉलीमोरफिजम एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस टाइप इज कॉल्ड मैथड ओवर लोडिंग नाउ देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलीमोरफिजम कंपाइल टाइम एंड रन टाइम ओवर लोडिंग इज ए टाइप ऑफ कंपाइल टाइम पॉलीमोरफिजम एंड ओवर राइडिंग इज ए टाइप ऑफ रन टाइम पॉलीमोरफिजम कंपाइल टाइम मीन्स वेन यू बिल्ड योर प्रोजेक्ट then dot net framework will convert your c sharp code into machine language and create a dll for that right this duration of this conversion is compile time so if there is any error you will get during this conversion uh, like you will get the compile time error uh, uh, you will get that error in the build errors okay now when the build is complete and your browser will open to show the output that duration is called run time and if you get any error during this it is called run time error so overloading is a compile time because when building the project dot net framework compiler know that these two methods have same name but they are different and overriding is run time because dot net framework at compile time not able to identify whether methods of sa- these same name are different or same we will discuss overriding in upcoming videos also what is method overloading in how many ways a method can be overloaded let's see the code first see here we have four kinds of add methods inside the same class method overloading now as you can see in method overloading this method name is same but they do different things so the definition is method overloading is a type of polymorphism in which we can create multiple methods of the same name in the same class and all the methods work in different ways now the second part of the question is in how many ways a method can be overloaded so method overloading can then be in uh, can be done in three ways see here we have four methods add with the same name right but there are three ways by which we can identify that these methods are different so what are those uh, ways first way is number of parameters are different in same name methods see in first and second add method the name is same but the number of parameters are different first have two parameters and second have three parameters this is one way okay in second way of method overloading data type of parameters are different see second method have all integer parameters and third method have parameter of parameters of double type so this is second way of identifying that these two methods are overloaded third and the last type is the order of parameters are different see the last two methods have same parameters but different order here we have double 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 oh sorry double double int and here we have double int double different order so these are the three different ways to do method overloading i hope all the ways are clear to you now when should you use method overloading in real projects now many developers thinks why to overload a method why do not even create uh, methods with new names right for example rather than creating multiple add methods create different methods like add integer add a string extra extra right the reason for creating overloaded method is to cover all scenarios for example here how you will name the this third method of add it's like add a double double integer 
that is a uh, weird right that is not good it will be very complex naming then that's why we do overloading see even dotnet framework string class substring method have two overloads so we can use the overloaded which we want to use of uh, from this two overloads right hope now it is more clear to you why we overload the methods now here is a scenario based question if two methods are same except the return type then methods are overloaded or what will happen now if return type is different then many think this is overloading but now if you see the code here where same name methods with different uh, sorry same parameters have different return type and you can see no this is not overloading and even this is not accepted by the dotnet framework you can see the compile time error here right so the answer is no this will show the compile time error it is not possible i hope uh, the confusion is clear now